Welcome back to my channel guys! Today we are going to do something a little different and it's going to be talking about Dress Up Time Princess. So thank you again for sponsoring this video and letting me be a part of the launch for the game. I super appreciate it a lot. And now I would love to tell you more about this game. So if you haven't already seen my other videos showcasing this game, Dress Up Time Princess is a hyper-realistic 3D story dress up game with beautiful storylines. And you will not only dress yourself up in this game, but it's also possible to play as a different character in every story. And before you start playing this game, here's a little reminder, my code still works. So I'll have the instructions brought up on the screen a little bit later, and I'll tell you how to use the code so you can get game packs worth $100. So let's start looking into the game. Number one, if you have already pre-registered for the game, you know that you're eligible for the bridal set. So in order to redeem this, within three working days after the event ends, you can just log into the game and check the pre-registration milestone event page and then tap redeem all to claim the reward. And as you can see here, you can see how high quality the dress is, the fabric, the materials, the flow, and the dynamics of the actual outfits themselves. It's very fluid and realistic. Plus, your character is able to have an assortment of different poses, especially every time you equip a new piece of item. And in free dressing, you can also showcase the outfit by clicking the camera button on the middle left. And you also have the ability to have her strike different poses in the camera mode so that you can take a picture for your avatar. All these poses are just so realistic in the way she moves her eyes and her mouth and her arms. It's just perfect. So needless to say, I spend a lot of time here just looking at her strike different poses. So before before we start playing the game, there is one thing about this game that is incredibly unique and I actually would love to share it with you all first. So over here, if you click your friends, you're actually able to share your clothing with them. These are the items that I have made accessible to my friends. And then if you click on the top right over here for the history, this shows the history of my borrowing and my friends borrowing from me. So when Blue Flames 1234 borrowed Endless 12 from me, they actually gave me 2,628 coins for borrowing my item and those are coins that I have gained. And over here, you can see that I spent 5,840 coins in order to borrow Gendarm boots. The purpose of borrowing clothes is such a unique idea and it's especially helpful when you need these particular items. So over here, you can see that I actually don't have Gendarm boots made because I don't have enough materials to craft it yet. I was able to use the Gendarm boots that I borrowed from my friends so that I can pass the stage. And in order to borrow from friends, all you need to do is go to your friend page and then click on the middle icon. Then you'll be able to see the shared wardrobe and these are the items that you're able to rent out. So let's say I would like to borrow some shoes over here. I'm able to borrow them and that is lent out to me. So guys, if you want to borrow my clothing, be sure to add me. My IgG ID is 87191421 and you can just add me by searching me up over here. I'll be looking forward to playing with you all. So now let's start playing the game. We're going to start with the story chapters and you can find them by clicking the story desk which is on the bottom of your screen with the books. So here you can see that I'm on chapter 2, but let's go to chapter 1 because this will be where you start. So once you click on the stage, these are the stage rewards that will drop and they will often tell you when or how they will drop. So for some stages, you need to have a score of perfect in order to have certain item drops. You can click stage hint on the top left of your screen and they will recommend you certain items so that you can finish the stage with a high score. So the first few stages start off as story building and your decision actually does matter because if you look at chapter 110 over here, you can see that that there is actually two paths so it would be 111 and 113 so why don't we start the stage you can see over here as the story progresses you're asked to make a decision and this decision will affect how you progress so um, I'm gonna spend five stamina over here just to let you know if you choose one option don't worry you can redo the stage and then you can choose the other option but you'll have to spend some stamina in order to do so that way you'll be able to unlock both stories and if you ever want to look back at your progress you can go click the bottom button beside the book and then this this will bring up the flow chart so you can see that you can navigate here remember how earlier I said that at stage 110 there are two possible routes to take well you can see over here on the flow chart this is where they all lead to so there are a lot of different things to discover in this game so you'll definitely never get bored of it next up we have encounters and with encounters you can use stamina in order to unlock different rewards and you need these rewards given by different people in order to craft specific items so each person has a specific type of reward that they will drop Usually if you want pearls, you would have to find encounters with a cat in order to have that drop. For example, you can see that you can spend 15 stamina, 10 stamina, and 5 stamina. The more stamina you spend, the more likely it is to get the possible reward. 
So right now I'm going to do 15 and you can see that I got a lot of the rewards up there. Next up we have the Parvin's shop. So you don't always necessarily have to use encounters and stamina in order to obtain items you need. You can actually go back to the main page over here and go to the top left where you can click Parvin's shop. A few times a day you are able to get one of these random items for free so I'm just going to go claim it. And these rewards are typically used for crafting. Next you can go to featured and then I go to the top and click clothing and blueprints. And these are items that you can obtain in order to craft specific types of items. And as for consumables over here, which are basically the rewards that dropped earlier in the encounters, you can click on this tab to find different materials. And these materials are necessary in order to craft items as well, but also to craft gifts for your companions. So I will be telling you how to craft gifts later for your companions. Next up, we have Lucky Jerry. And Lucky Jerry can be found over here on the bottom right of the screen. So Jerry is actually like a hamster or squirrel I'm still not sure but all I know is that he's adorable and every day you have a few times you can pull on his pavilion so that you can get different rewards so free it's really funny because he explodes and then you get an item so here we go we get grand crown and it's a new item it is five stars so woo that's great and then you can also unlock relics which are basically power-ups you can use during the chapter stages when you have unlocked lucky Jerry points and by the way, if you guys haven't noticed already, you can look on the left of my screen and you can see that you can obtain my redeem code. My redeem code also gives you some Lucky Jerry tickets. And then if you have Lucky Jerry tickets, you can use it on the pavilion. So for example, when I click over here and then I pop him up, you can see that I can get 10 items without spending any diamonds at all. Okay, so here is another really fun aspect of the game and that is closed DIY. So if you go click on boutique over here, you'll be able to do a lot of different things, including designer works where you can craft and alter clothes. So crafting clothes is when you have a blueprint so that you can craft specific clothes depending on the materials you have. And then altering clothes is basically evolving clothes into another into a more beautiful and high rating piece. So I actually started off with Swan Song and then if you wanted to alter it, you needed certain materials over here. So you needed seven Swan Songs, some cotton and some leather in order to make it into one pure heart. So pure heart is basically the evolved form of Swan Song. So now I wanna show you something even cooler. This is called Custom Couture. Over here, you're, you have the ability to dye, stamp and print your items. So for dyeing, it's really cool because you're able to change the color of your piece without affecting its stats. I made it blue at first, but let's just do something fun. Let's do teal. You can adjust the brightness of your color. I'll do something more light toned over here. And you can also change different parts of the suit. I'm just gonna keep it even lighter. And then as for the thicker dress, maybe a little more vibrant. And as for the fourth position, I'll keep it to the same color I have near the top. So this is the altar dress and you'll be able to wear it. You can also stamp. So for example, if we edit it over here, I can change it from this one or this one. I have this one at first because I really like the gold color of it. You can change the position of it or you can change how big the stamp is by just dragging the box over here. And as for print, it's very similar to the stamp, but the print is actually the bigger part of the outfit. So you can see that the pattern over here is quite beautiful and you can change your patterns depending on your position. So let's say I would want this over here and then I don't want a pattern over here and then I want a pattern over here. So I could do something like this and then I'll be able to wear the outfit. So now let's talk about the lantern. The lantern you can click over here on the top of the middle of the screen and you'll be able to click on the companions and you can talk with people you have met throughout the chapters by engaging with them. So for example, just clicking on them, you'll be able to raise their levels so that their goodwill with you becomes stronger. And it's important to always keep your goodwill high with these people because your goodwill with certain companions over here will actually be a requirement for you in order to even start the stage. And in order to increase their goodwill even more, you can do item crafting over here. These are the items that I have already crafted but if you want to make more you can just press the plus button over here and it will direct you to the place where you can craft items and when you click blueprints over here you can sort them by the tags that the companions are associated with in order to increase their goodwill by a higher margin so for example let's say I wanted to craft something fun I will click on fun and then these are the items that are associated with the tag so I'll craft it over here and then I can go back and go to Gabrielle over here then I press the gift icon and choose fun because she likes fun and mysterious things and I will give her this item that I just made. 
So you're only able to give companions eight gifts a day, so be sure to make them count. So the last thing I wanna show you guys is kitty exploration, and you can find this over here at the kitty bed. So earlier, I let my cats go explore, and then they came back with gifts. So let's open them, and you can see that they bring me a lot of stuff. So they gave me some stamps and patterns, and these are the patterns that you can use when you're doing the clothes DIY. As for everything else, they got me coins, they got me diamonds, they got me materials, so they're good cats. <laughs> And then later on in the game, you're able to actually get cat clothing from the login rewards. So not only can you dress up yourself, but you can also dress up your cat. And if you want them to explore, you can just click on the middle left over here, and then you can select four of them and they will go on a journey. And you can keep track of their journey by looking at the exploration log. And now we have departed. And one more thing you can do that is totally unique to the game is that you can actually dress up your pets. So throughout the game, you'll be able to unlock clothing for your cats. And for Teddy over here, I have him in a top hat, but my favorite one is Furball. I just think that he looks super good in these chains. <laughs> You gotta respect his drip. So I hope I did a good job showcasing the game. I personally had a lot of fun with it and I've been playing it for nearly a month now. I would really love it if you guys would add me in the game because again, we could share our clothes together and we can have fun playing another dress up game. Remember, you can download this game in the link in my description. I would really appreciate it if you guys would give it a try. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this type of content and I will catch you all later. Bye!